Hi everyone, I hope you're safe and healthy. Um, we at the library sure do miss you and hope that things will change soon and we'll be able to get to see more of you. Uh, my name is Lisa and today we're going to be doing another one of our DIY crafts that involve hopefully things that you already have at home or um, items that are relatively inexpensive now that we can get out and do a little bit of shopping. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bath poof mesh wreath and this is the one that I had made at home and I'll give you the supplies and then we'll get into the directions for this. The first thing you're going to need obviously is your wreath form. Now I found these, these are adorable, these really cute little ones at um, the Dollar Tree but you can also get the larger ones as well. You do not necessarily need to buy a wreath form. For the example that I have here, you might be able to see, but I have simply used a cutout piece of cardboard that I've reinforced on the back of it. And again, I'll give more direction in just a few minutes, but we do need some kind of wreath form, whether you make it or whether you buy it. You may have one at home that you're just ready to upcycle and repurpose into a different wreath. The second thing that you're going to need are the bath poofs. Um, I found that you can find these at your local Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece. You need to get the number that you want at that time because there's no guarantee that that shade of color or actually that color in general is going to be there the next time that you go in. I found that most websites said that you needed four. I, for this one, would have preferred to have had one more. And I actually picked up another one at a different store, a different dollar store, and it is different. So I did not include a, a fifth one. But for this larger wreath, I probably would have had five of these. And then the only other thing that you're gonna need is possibly a ribbon, and you probably already have the bow, uh, the ribbon to make the bow at home. And then any embellishments that you might want to add, I'll discuss this one in a few minutes. I also found these little uh, wooden cutouts at the Dollar Tree that would be great on the example, which we'll get into in just a few moments on different ways that you can embellish this as well. So, I think we've got everything. I did use a little bit of tape, um, and I'll explain uh, again with the directions why I needed that. Also a pair of scissors, and I don't think we need our glue gun this time. We've really been using that glue gun a lot. For the wreath that I have made here, the one in the turquoise color, I've taken foam board. Now, if you've been following any of the crafts, you know that I've used one piece of foam board now for about four different crafts. Um, I simply cut a large circle. I gave myself a two inch diameter, and then I reinforced on the back. Now, the good thing about this is I needed to cut it so that I could open it up and actually slide the poofs on. So someplace on here, and I won't dig too far for it, uh, you're gonna find that there's a cut uh, that has been taped back together so that we would have the, the wreath intact. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually finish one that I started. I started with this small metal wreath form. Um, I also cut it, I used my not my shears, but my pliers to cut it. And we cut it right here, as you can see. I cut through all three layers or all three pieces of that metal. There we go. There we go. Now, all I need to do is if I look down deep into this poof, I'm gonna generally find a white string and you can see that it's right there. So all you really need to do is to take your scissors without cutting the mesh and get deep down in there and just cut the string and it's gonna come right out. And in addition to that, you're gonna find yourself with a stretched out about six feet of mesh. Now, if you've bought the meshing for the mesh wreaths before the actual meshing itself, you can buy it in rolls. You know that it's relatively expensive. These are a dollar a piece. To buy this much mesh, you're looking at uh, 10 to $15 uh, to do the entire uh, wreath, I would assume, because those are kind of expensive. I did not like this gold that was in there, so that too can come right out. 
so that I'm just left with this salmon color. I was hoping this would be more of an orange color. I could see it making a really cute uh, wreath for um, Halloween with um, a spider or something like that on there. So, and you know me, I'll probably reuse this for something else. So we're gonna keep that gold ribbon that came out through there. And here's how I found was the easiest way to get this on here. I found the opening and I'm simply gonna fish my hand through this mesh. It's all on here now. So what I'm gonna do is open this up slightly and just keep pulling it down. Now it's gonna get tangled occasionally, especially with the metal form. I didn't really have it tangling too much when I used the foam. Obviously it's a little bit more smoother, easier to deal with. Now I've got my two ends here, and all I'm simply gonna do, because I, on this one I think two is gonna be plenty. You could add a third one if you wanted to, that's entirely up to you. I think once I move this around, you're not gonna be able to see that frame too much. And if all else fails and you could only find two in the color that you liked, feel free to spray paint your frame so that it somewhat matches or blends in. You probably could use a brown spray paint and that would not show up as readily there. So I'm gonna take my ends, I've got a little bit of a tangle here, let's see if I can get that. There we go. I'm gonna take my ends, and I'm just using this clear duct tape, but I'm just gonna use it. The good thing about this is this wreath form can be reused because all you'll need to do is to take your tape off and you could easily put a different color on or reuse it for any other activity or project that you might have. Sometimes you have to use the body to help you a little bit. Or a new piece of tape. Actually, I'm not sure I need to tape this because I do think it will stay together pretty well for you, but just in case, we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna cut two pieces because that is very sticky and it's very likely to mess up again on me. There we go. And actually I'm gonna use this other piece of tape. Again, all you have to do is take your scissors and cut that off if you want to. We'll just make sure that's reinforced and is not going to come apart or snag your mesh. And you can see this is super simple and inexpensive. On this one, I'm not sure at this point, uh, with the coloring, I love it, it's that salmon color. But I'm not real sure what kind of bow I had at home that would actually go with it. And so I just simply made a little burlap bow and we could put that at the very top of there. And that's how easy would that be to tie on there uh, and, you know, and embellish it any way that you want to. Something like this would be adorable on a little girl's door, hanging on the wall. So think about things that she might enjoy, a little bit of sequins, a little bit of glitz, maybe a little bit of sparkle in the bow. It could be that you preferred to keep the gold in there, depending on what, where you're gonna be hanging this. Now let's go back to the bow that I, or to the wreath that I made just uh, earlier as a, my demonstration wreath. Again, I would put a fifth one on here. It's a bigger wreath, obviously. Uh, I would have put a fifth one on here if I could have found one that actually matched. I did a detachable flat bow, bow excuse me. It is simply made of just random um, pieces of uh, ribbon that I already had at the house. You can tell from my past um, 
craft sessions that I keep a little bit of everything. And so I just found colors that I thought would go uh, well with this turquoise, which I love. This is my favorite color uh, right now. I think it reminds me of summer. But I even put a little bit of a burlap on here as well. This can easily come off. It's also easy to hang um, from the back. I just did a little loop on the very back there. Um, to me, it looks beachy. I mentioned that I also found these wooden cutouts. Uh, these would be fun. Uh, I believe it's a mermaid, a sea turtle, and a dolphin. But you could glitter these. You could sequin these. You could have children paint these. You could paint them yourself. You could leave them the color that they are, however you choose to do that. But what great accents those would be on this particular wreath, uh, especially because of the color. Uh, this was a fun and easy craft. I hope you enjoy it. If you make one of the mesh wreaths, if you will post it to our Facebook page, we'd love to also share that one uh, with everyone who's watching as well. Thank you. Keep crafting.